Hello viewers, this is IT System Admin, a complete troubleshooting solution for you. Today, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to enable Wi-Fi LAN adapter in Windows Server 2016. Sometimes it becomes very important for you, so don't forget to watch full video. Wi-Fi LAN adapter is not built in installed in Windows Server 2016 like Windows 10 computer. So you have to install Windows LAN adapter driver software in Windows Server 2016 manually. Okay, now I am going to install it. Click on start menu and click server manager now click on manage click on add roles and features in before you begin page you do not do not need to do anything just uh, click on next and role based or feature based installation is selected click next select a server from the server pool is selected and my server is selected also now click on next and this role we don't need to install any role so click on next scroll down This is wireless LAN service. Uh, click here and select it. Now click next and click on install. Feature installation has been started. The feature installation has been finished. Now click on close. Look, a restart is pending on host 2. You must restart the destination server to finish the installation. Okay, now I need to restart my computer. Click on start menu. Click on power button and click on restart after restarting the server right click on network icon click on open network and sharing center now click on change adapter settings look the Wi-Fi adapter is enabled right now here. Okay. Close this file. Close this window also. Click on Start menu. Click on Windows PowerShell. Look, Windows PowerShell has been opened. Right click on it and click on edit. I click on properties and click on font. Now I am selecting font size 20 and click OK. Look, font has been in font size has been increased. Now In PowerShell, just type net start WLAN SVC. Now hit enter.
Look, the WLAN auto config service is starting. The WLAN auto config service was started successfully. Okay, now close partial. Look, the OLS LAN card has been started and it's showing the all Wi-Fi connections here. This is all for today. Hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Keep watching for next tutorial. Thank you very much.